So one thing I like to do when we get a new set of push rods is I'll blow some uh, compressed air through them all and then I'll just take them all and I'll put them up to the light and I'm looking through to make sure that there's no dirt or debris in the tubes and that it's going to get clogged up for the oil. So I just want to make sure all of them are nice and clean in there. So now we can just go ahead and start installing them. It's a good idea to shine a light down there and make sure that the push rod is actually accepted into the lifter cup. Okay, so now that the push rods are in place and our rocker pedestals are on, I like to go and take a little bit of uh, assembly lube grease and I'm just going to put a dab of it on the tips of all the valves and the tips of the push rod. So I'm just going to go on just like that. And the idea here is just before the first engine fire up, I want to have a little bit of lubricant on the tips of all these valves and the push rods. A lot of this is going to get wiped away as soon as we prime it, but I still, extra insurance, like to have a little bit of assembly lube on the tips of these valves especially. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start putting the rockers on. I'm just going to put a little bit of ARP lube on the threads just to help it out. And we'll start with just the exhausts. Put those into place. Now I'm only going to be putting the uh, rockers on, the ones that I know that the push rod or the, that the cam is at the base circle of that lifter, so the push rod is at its lowest point. Like if you can see down here, these push rods here are a little higher than the others right now. What that's telling me is if I torque down that push rocker, it's going to push down this valve. And I don't want to add that undue stress onto these threads right now. I want to do it when it's in a resting position. So now we'll do a couple intakes on this side because they're down. And what you want to do on the intakes is for these are CNC ported heads. So what that means here on these is that it actually broke through on the intake runner and it broke through this bolt hole. So if you just run it dry, the thread's dry, there's a good chance you'll have an oil leak or it'll pull vacuum out that other direction. So you really want to avoid having an oil leak in here by lubricating the threads and putting some RVT silicone just on the threads of it, just a little bit. You're sealing up that surface there that has been broken through by the CNC porting. So we'll come in here. So now I'll go ahead and torque these ones and then I can rotate the engine over a little bit and then I can put these on. So I'll just start here. Just kind of guide that uh, rocker, make sure it stays centered on the tip of the valve. Good torque there. Okay, now that we have all those torqued up, we can uh, rotate the engine to do the others. What we're looking for That is the push down. That is the push down. So now we're on the base circle of uh, these other rockers on the cam lobe. So now we can start installing these ones. Now that we got them all torqued up nice, we just want to rotate the engine a few times. Make sure everything's settled. You're not feeling anything bind. Sounds nice, feels nice. Cool. And we can go ahead and uh, do our torque striping. Let everyone know that we have torqued these.